Hey, this is Claire with the Painted Sisters. It's been a while since I did a video, but I've got these new sunflower molds, and my husband made me this um, box with a spindle handle on it, and I thought it'd be great to try to put them on there. So we're going to do that today and see how it turns out. This is our new mold. As you can see, the detail is just amazing. Also, the new thing is they have these little um, in, um, amounts right here that you can use to pour resin or clay. It tells you the amount if you have something to weigh it out. I don't yet, so we're just going to go with it the way it is. The first thing that you're going to do is dust it with a little bit of cornstarch. Since I don't have anything to weigh it with, I'm just going to guess. I'm going to get your clay out, and I do it, just mush it up kind of like this. Spread it out just a little bit, and then you're going to work it from the middle out. And I just use my thumbs to press it in there. I have to get some more. You want to get the back of it even, so when you glue it down, it's, it's a nice smooth surface to glue. IOD molds have this micro rim right around here that you can just use your thumb against and it will um, make a nice edge on it. I just had a paint stick laying here and I'm going to use it to smooth it out on the back. Okay, so after you get it smoothed out and you're happy with the way the edges look, you're just going to flip the mold over. Stay away from right now. You know, flip the mold over and just kind of roll it up. See the design. It's very intricate. So I use um, Pipe Bond Quick and Thick. I found that that really holds and glues, and it's and it does it quickly. You just kind of turn it over, and I like to put plenty of glue on it. I usually just take my fingers and make sure the edges are got, got glue on them until they'll go down really well. Once you have your edges down, just put it where you want it. And I just usually use a paper towel to get up the excess glue that comes out. Okay, so now we'll do the leaf.
Okay, so we're going to let these dry before we decide to come back and paint them. And I will bring you back then. Hi, okay, so we're back and it's been overnight and it's dried fairly, fairly dry. I had some crackage, a little bit of cracking going on. Um, I filled in a tiny little bit. I'm, I like the cracking, so I like it the way the dark wax or black wax gets in it and fills it in. So now we're going to paint it and go from there. And I'm using DIY vintage linen to get an overall coat on the whole thing. Okay, so we're going to let this dry and then I will come back and I haven't decided whether I just want to do dark wax on it and leave it the vintage linen, just highlight the sunflower. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to do, but I'll paint the whole entire thing and then I'll paint, put another coat on it and then we'll come back to wax it. Okay, so we're back to this one and after much thought, I, I added another leaf down here. I thought it needed it. And I think I'm just going to go with clear wax and dark wax and not try to paint in yellow and brown and green and all that. I just want it to be very neutral and go in any spot. So I'm going to go over it with clear wax first. And I want plenty on it because I may want to take, I may want to wipe back some of the dark. It's always a little bit scary doing this. I never know if it's going to come off or I've made just this huge mess. But usually as long as you've got the clear wax underneath it, you it, it'll come off. But there's a lot of it all. You can tell right here where I put the paint on, I put it on in different directions so that the dark wax would settle in those cracks too. And I'm just using the clear wax to go back in and take off.
Okay, so I'm going to wax the rest of this and then I will stage it and have pictures at the end.